Welcome back to the Worst Possible Commander Show. I am Ben, and here is CGB. It's me. And Blake. Hiya. And Shay. Hello. And today we are playing Dungeons and Dragons Secret <laughs> Lair. <laughs> Nowhere on that card does it say the word Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh, it, I love it. <laughs> We're not playing the game Dungeons and Dragons, right. Ben. Yeah. yeah, no. I mean... The people from the movie, right? There's a movie, right? <laughs> there, there was yes, a movie, yeah. that is was correct. Was or is? It still is. Still there, is, okay. There is a movie for Dungeons & Dragons. It's yes. in the theater to celebrate the release of the Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. Wizards of the Coast released a... A... Movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> a secret layer. A secret there layer. Yes, and it yes. has these cards in it, and each of us have chosen a card from the secret layer movie. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> to be the commander. Yes, of our game today in the worst possible. Remember to use promo card promo code worst at checkout at coolstuffinc.com, our sponsor, and just get a little discount on your order. That was really good. Yeah, yeah. oh thanks. Yeah, I'm doing just fantastic. So today <laughs> I am playing Zank, Paladin Unbroken. He's a 2-4 double striker, and all my auras have exalted. And for Ooh. my worst possible, which is what we do here on this show, we, we tell you what the worst possible is, is all these auras. Whoa. Some go on him, some go on you guys, or your creatures, I mean, and stuff happens. Maybe I'll one-shot a few of you. So this is, uh, yeah, this is like Voltron or yes, a Voltron. Yes, or and, a Voltron. And you're going to kill us probably with commander damage because yes. all of these give an extra plus one, plus one to your commander if it attacks alone. Yes. Great. I love yeah, that. Yes. I love that. Let me tell you about mine because it's also a little Voltron-y. So uh, my commander is Forge Neverwinter Charlatan. This is a really interesting commander uh, played by Hugh Grant in the movie. And he's got a three-step plan for fun, profit, and the demise of all his enemies. Step one, we're going to get a little bit of, you know, sacrificial creatures like an Aphenomancer might make that just kind of repeatedly make more and more bodies. Step two, we're going to use a sack outlet, something along the lines of a Phyrexian altar. And every time we sacrifice one of those little fodder bodies that we don't care about whatsoever because we're the bad guy, we make a tapped treasure token. Then we're either going to use all those treasures to Vol Voltron style mega commander damage somebody, or we'll spend those treasures and cast something like a Rise of the Dark Realms and take control of all of the demise creatures from the board. So uh, that's Forge's plan uh, to make sack stuff, sack stuff, and then profit. Well, as usual, I'm directly opposed against you because I am the hero of this movie, mm. because I am playing Edgin, Larcenist Lutonist, which is just a great name. He's a human bard, as am I. And uh, he says, each non-land card in your hand without foretell has foretell. Its foretell cost is equal to its mana cost reduced by two. So it just gives all my stuff foretell, um, makes it cheaper, and it's gonna be great. One of the themes of this deck is getting paid off for playing cards from not, uh, not in your hand. So Wild Magic Sorcerer, Keeper of Secrets, etc. I'm hoping to get one or two of these on the battlefield, foretell a bunch of cards, and then kill you guys with them. Blake, did you see the movie? I did, more than Ben did, for yeah, sure. It, true. Yeah. Um, you do realize that character didn't do much. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> that's what the hero is supposed to do. Yeah, that's what do, I'm, I'm just chilling, dude. Because I'm I was going to suggest that the hero of the movie was more like... Oh, uh, maybe Doric? Mm. Nature's Warden? Now somebody dealt the most damage, and that sounds like a Shea commander to me. Yes, which is exactly why I'm playing her today. Uh, so yeah, my commander is Doric, Nature's Warden. She's a 3-3 three, three, uh, Tiefling Druid. So she's got Vigilance. When she enters the battlefield, search your library for a force card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. And then she also has this very cool ability where I can pay two on attack and transform her into a frickin' owl bear. What does an owl bear sound like? <laughs> hmm. Owl. Like that? I think that's that's pretty close. Cool, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, got the, the caw and the growl. Yeah, they're quite... my people, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, so she transforms into a very cool owl bear, which has 
Vigilance and Trample, and is a 6-6. Six, six. And uh, when she transforms, other legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain Trample until end of turn. So my deck is classic green, stompy stuff. Um, I'm looking to do lots of fun kind of combat tricks and buffs. Um, I think the worst possible version of that is Staff of Titania, which gives equipped creature plus X plus X, where X is a number of forests you control. Uh, and then also whenever equipped creature attacks, create a 1-1 one, one green forest dryad land creature token. Yes. Okay, it looks like three of us might win with commander damage and one of us might just... <laughs> Die, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, that sounds about right. That exactly. sounds about right. Unless I use the card that I, I've i given up on trying to kill Shay with a Crater Hoof or a Triumph of the Hordes, I'm going to try to kill Shay with Insurrection. So that's going to be my goal this game. By hopefully stealing her Crater Hoof? All of them. Yeah, all of her creatures okay. and then killing her with them. <laughs> yep, it's going to be great. All of all our creatures and killing all of us with all of them. <laughs> no, just Shay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Is killed. that a deal? Can we make a deal now we'll that talk. you'll never attack? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, uh, wait a minute. This isn't my job. Oh, let's get into it. <laughs> Let the nonsense begin. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Let's start it off by drawing this card. I'll play a Plains. I'll tap that Plains for an Elseed of Life's Bounty, and Ooh. I'll pass. Dude, it wasn't an S% percent on my life so much better. <laughs> All right, I'll draw for my turn, and I'll play a Swamp. Tap that Swamp. Wayfarer's Bobble, your turn. Ooh, got a spicy turn one play here. I'm gonna go Training Center, and I'm gonna play a Thran Turbine. So this is a one-man artifact. During your upkeep, you may add up to two colorless mana to your mana pool. This mana cannot be used to cast spells. Whoa. So the point of it is because you can actually foretell at any time on your turn, I'm just going to be able to foretell for free on my upkeep. Kill it. Blow it up. No. <laughs> Go ahead, Shay. Okie doke. Okay. I, I heard that we're doing turn one plays today. So uh, forest. Soul ring. No. Arcane oh singer. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Can I sit on your guys' side of the table? Are you scared? <laughs> yeah. I'll pass to you then. All right. I'll untap. I'll keep nothing. Draw. Play a planes. I'll play an arcane signet. My goodness, we are all at it. Today. Yeah, we are. I'll go to combat and swing at Blake for one. Cause why not? Fair enough. You're gonna pay for that though. Okay, I will pass. Well, actually, you'll gain one from life. Oh life. yes, of course. You'll pay something. Now I'll pass. All right. Untap, draw. Already have interesting decisions. I'll just play a swamp, and it's your turn. All right. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm going to play Basic Island and a Talisman of Curiosity. So you did an add man on your upkeep. I did, chose not to. OK, cool. And then I will pass to you, Shay. OK. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play a Dryad Arbor. Then I gotta do it, cause I can. I'm gonna pay for, for Doric. Oh man, jeez. Um, and when she enters the battlefield, search your library for a forest card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Okay, I grabbed a basic forest. It's gonna enter the battlefield tapped. Then I'll pass to you, Ben. Whoa, before Ben untaps, Ooh. because I don't wanna get got by a deep gnome Terramancer, I'm going to sacrifice my Wayfarer's Bobble and search for a swamp. I'll untap, upkeep nothing, draw for turn, play a planes for turn, and Shay, I think I'm gonna join you, and play Zenk, Paladin Unbroken. Commander is here. And I'll keep the little train rolling, and attack Blake for one. Blake, hold on, why? Why does your talisman make green mana in your oh, red-blue no. deck? <laughs> I grabbed the wrong talisman. Judge. Nice. Game loss. <laughs> Take me away. Two command towers, now you gotta. I know. Jeez. Uh, we're gonna call this Shame. one a talisman of creativity. 
It, it's supposed to be a talisman of creativity. It's currently a talisman of, oh, oh okay, shame upon you. <laughs> I will gain one from the lifelink, and then it is your turn, CGB. Okay, untap, and I'll draw for turn. All right, I'll tap two to cast a Thought Vessel. I have no maximum hand size. I'll play a Hall of the Bandit Lord tapped that can give a creature haste if I pay three life to tap it for mana. And I'll tap one for an Imperial Seal. I'll search my library for a card, put that card on top, and lose two life. So I'll go down to 38, and I'm gonna search for a card, and we're gonna throw it on top, and then I am done. All right, I will untap, upkeep. I will, I, you know what, I'll make the mana this time. It'll dissipate, draw for turn. All right, I'm going to play a tapped Steam Vents, and I'm gonna tap my Talisman of Curiativity into more for Edgin. Arsonist Ludenist, and then I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap, draw, forest as land for turn, pay two for a secure tribe elder. Steve. Steve. CGB. Yo. Who are we more worried about, do you think, Ben or Blake? I like this we talk. Oh. Yeah, what, yeah, what's this? What about him? What a, you know? She's well, subliminally making you into her ally. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, you and I. Mm. <laughs> this is a good mana generator for tell stuff, but he probably needs two turns before this does anything too useful. Mm -hmm. At the same time, his commander goads, which means you may want to attack him while you're able, because he'll just make you attack other people later anyway. Mm -hmm. Ben is going to have protection for this commander. He doesn't have any auras yet, but as soon as he starts getting them, this will attack for a lot. You can kind of blank it for a turn with tribe elder, so I don't know if you're afraid of this yet, but it will mm -hmm. become a problem. Um, it's kind of close. Both are about the same, I would say. I think you should attack me. You think so, huh? <laughs> We're gonna try uh, reverse psychology. Let me know if it works. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna attack you with Doric, and I'm going to pay two Doric. to use her ability, which will transform her that into- Backfired. An Owlbear Avenger. And you're attacking the the Blake. The Blake, <laughs> yes, with now a six six vigilance trample. Commander. I am, Commander. I am but one of many Blakes, and I will not block. Yes. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pass the turn to you, Ben. Okay. I'll untap and draw. Shay, it looks like you got four lands there. Cool, I'm gonna play an Archaeomancers, man. Archaeomancers, what, whatever. I'm gonna get two plays. Pretty, pretty sure it's pronounced Archaeomancers. Archaeo, really? Yeah, Archaeo. Huh. Play a Plains for turn, and I'll tap that Plains in my Arcane Signet for an Angelic Gift onto my commander, which says he gains flying, and I draw a card when it enters. Eek. I've been picking on Blake a little bit, so. I'm gonna swing at CGB for three, five, because of Exalted. Double strike, right? Double strike, yes. Commander. Commander as uh, well. Oh, I don't think you're gonna be happy you did that, but I will take my six Commander. Okay. And I will go down to 32. I'm always happy when I attack someone. Fair enough. <laughs> then I will pass. All right, untap, upkeep draw. Well, the, f I, the card I fetch with my Imperial Seal, I'll show you right now, I'll tap three. It's uh, the Ophidomancer, or Ophiomancer, the 2-2 two -two that makes a 1-1 one -one snake at the beginning of each upkeep with Death Touch. Mm -hmm. Shay, mm -hmm. is, Shay is smiling and nodding. I like that card. It might get sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the problem is the snakes don't fly. So I'm gonna play a Swamp, and I'm going to cast a Feed the Swarm to destroy target creature or enchantment opponent controls. It's your commander, Ben. Okay, okay. It resolves. I lose life equal to the permanence commander cost, so I will go down to 28. And I will pass the turn to Blake, and I have an uh, upkeep trigger. All right, I will untap, and on my upkeep, Thran Turbine will trigger, but I believe you also have a trigger. Snake. Sneaky little snaky snake. All right, I will actually spend my two Thran Turbine mana to foretell a card. I have a little foretold thing. So you guys know what I got. Okay. So I got that foretold. And then I will go ahead and draw for my turn and move to my main phase. I will play Island. 
All right, I'm going to spend two mana to foretell another card. And guess what else? I'm gonna spend two mana and I'm gonna foretell another card. What? <laughs> and then I will pass the turn to Shay. Hmm, okay. Untap on my upkeep, Doric Owl Bear Avenger. Changes back to just Doric. We're tapping six for Surak and Goreclaw. <gasps> the new team up? <gasps> yes. Oh God, but that does a bunch of scary things, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's a 6-5 trample. Other creatures you control have trample. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn. I'm gonna move to combat. I will swing at you with Doric, but paying two to transform into Elbear. Uh, so I'll take six more, Shay. That's 12 commander. Shay, did you play a land this turn? I sure did. Okay, well I get to play this from my hand because of the RKO Eomancers, man. <laughs> RKO -E 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 Yeah, let's just add a bunch of those in there. Uh, okay, I'll pass to you, Ben. All right, I'll untap and play Zank yet again. Commander returns. You gonna protect your commander this time? I think I well, am. He's tapped out. Oh no. But you're good. Yeah. Yes, I am. Your turn, CGB. <laughs> okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I will play my land for turn, the Shizo Death Storehouse. I'm playing all those Ben lands. <laughs> I like it. I will spend three for a Phyrexian Altar. Helpful. I recall all three of these cards <laughs> in the worst yeah. possible. I know. I uh, believe. I told uh. you I had a plan. <laughs> plan is coming together. I will pay three life with the Hall of the Bandit Lord going down to 25 to cast my commander, Forge Neverwinter Charlatan. Uh, two, four, Menace, Ward, sacrifice a creature. So if you target this, you have to sacrifice a creature. Um, this gets plus two, plus zero oh for each treasure I control. Zero. Uh, whenever one or more players sacrifice one or more creatures, you create a tap treasure token. This ability triggers only once a turn. This has haste because of the Hall of the Bandit Lord. So I will attack Blake. In response, I will cast. In response, I will cast. In response, I will cast. <laughs> I'm going to cast See the Truth. Um, oh, wait, that's a sorcery. You're going to cast that I sorcery in it. response? I should have done it, but I can't do it on my turn. <laughs> now so you that's see fine. the truth. <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Well, if you have no blocks, uh, no flashed in creatures, nope. before damage, I'm going to sacrifice my snaky snake to Phyrexian Altar for a black mana. This will create a tapped treasure token, and it will make Forge's power four. All right, yeah, I will take four commander from you. Bonk, 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 bonk. I have no use for the mana, so I'll pass the turn. I'm gonna untap. I have an upkeep trigger. I too have an upkeep trigger. Well, Yours my, goes first. That's right, I'll make a sneak. I will make two mana with Thran Turbine, and I will use it to foretell. I will draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna start by spending one to cast, not that one, <laughs> not that one, not that one. I'm gonna cast See the Truth. So this is a sorcery. Uh, Edgin made it only one mana because it reduced the colorless mana to zero. Uh, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of the cards into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. If the spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards in your hand instead. Whoa. So I just cast a little Ancestral Recall. <sighs> Whoa. Then I'm gonna play a Mystic Sanctuary mm -hmm. and I have enough islands. So I'm going to put it back on top of my deck. Smooth. Nice. Like butter. All right, I'm gonna spend two more mana to foretell a card. Mm -hmm. And then I will spend three mana. Whoa. And I'm going to cast from my hand, Raven Form. So exile target artifact or creature, its controller creates a 1-1 one, one bird with flying. Hey Ben, if I don't kill your commander, will you not attack me next turn? Well, yeah. you can't kill the commander because of Alcide. I can make him use it though. I mean, okay. I'm just saying. I mean, All right, you know what Ben, I don't need your stupid deals. I'm going to okay. kill your commander, Shay, and then I'm going to trigger Edgin to goad your commander back. Okay. <laughs> so, we got there. That's fine. Um, and then, Shay, I will pass the turn. On your, on your end step, I'm going to sacrifice this snake to the Phyrexian altar for a black mana to make another treasure token with my commander. 
stop that. Proceed. Untap. On your upkeep, I will make a, would you like to do the honors? <gasps> You're gonna make a snake? I am. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay, draw. Gonna pay five for Hero's Podium. Okay, what does that do? Each legendary creature you control gets plus one, plus one for each other legendary creature you control. Then it also has a pay X and tap. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may reveal a legendary card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Okay, so no bonuses right now because you only have one legendary. Correct. Okay. But I kind of want to look for one. Yeah? <laughs> yes, so I'm going to pay four for X and tap my hero's podium to look at the top four cards of my library. Okay. May Needs the odds be ever in your favor, Sean. Thank you. Needs to be a legendary creature. <laughs> okay, sadly, I do not have a legendary creature to reveal, so these will go to the bottom no. of my library in random order. Yeah, that's, that a, that's a high risk play. That sucks. I'm gonna move to combat. That's just a 3-3 three -three there, right, Blake? Yeah, he's not useless though, because he's a bard. <laughs> What's it gonna do? Sing the wow. bear a song? It's a little bit <laughs> Hello. Little lullaby. Is it me you're looking for? I was a little defensive in that response. He's, he's not useless. No, I know. Oh, okay. They made him out to be useless in the movie. Bards are not useless. This is this is anti bard propaganda at its finest. He was, was that a, movie. He was a distraction. Kind of. The kind magic of. person had to turn him into a distraction. That, you're right, he was useless. Thank you for making my point. <laughs> Propaganda. We struck Boilers a nerve. Guys. We struck a nerve. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I'm going to swing at Blake with Surak. 6-5 Trampler. Roar. Yeah, I'll take six. Uh, I will pass to you, Ben. End step, I'm going to do the thing where I sack my snake and make a tap treasure token. Okay, I'll untap. I will make a snake. <laughs> Draw for turn. Play a roadside reliquary, which is a land that taps for colorless, or I can pay two and tap and sack it and draw a card if I control an artifact and draw a card if I control an enchantment. You Ooh. do? Whoa, I do. Are you going to draw cards right now? No. Well, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Wait and see. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'll tap two for a spirit mantle on Ooh. Sank. Plus one, plus one, and pro creatures. Gross. He just gets around all them critters. Wow. I'm gonna tap three and play Umbra Mystic. Auras attached to permanence you control have totem armor. Totem armor, yeah. Okay. And she's a two-two. Human wizard. Whew. So I'm goaded. You are. Shay, you're kind of roughing up some stuff, but CGB's got his whole little my 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 workshop. My plan. Yeah, my his plan. plan, his workshop. His little Rube, Rube my, Goldberg my machine. Fun yeah. and profit <laughs> plan is in effect. Yes. Hmm. I will move to combat and attack CGB. No. With Zenk. Okay. For the Spirit Mantle triggers as Exalted because of your commander. Yep. And Spirit Mantle also gives it plus one plus one on its own. Yes. So that is a four six double striking commander. Yep. Um, okay, I will take eight. I'm gonna go down to 17, and I'm going to go up to 14 Ben Commander damage. Whoa. Let's go, Ben. I will then pass to you, CGB. Oh man, you're still at 42? Yeah, wow. I haven't been hit yet. Okay, I'm gonna do the snake thing. Sacrifice this and go up to four tap treasures using Phyrexian Altar, then I'm going to go to my turn. So I am going to start by sacrificing the new snake to make a tapped treasure with Forge. Bring me up to five total treasures. Uh, one mana in the mana pool. And I'm going to spend four more. And I'm going to cast Invasion of Ravnica. This is a battle. It's a colorless battle siege. When this enters the battlefield, exile target, non-land permanent, and opponent controls that isn't exactly two colors. I'm going to choose Ben to defend this battle. It has four defense, and I am going to exile Ben's commander. This is a colorless source. What? Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> Rude. I have a response. Okay. I will play Karametra's Blessing, targeting my commander. Oh no. He gets plus two, plus two until the turn, and if it's enchanted, 
And it also gains hexproof and indestructible. Wow. Oh, Ben. What? Oh, man. Let's go, Ben. Okay, that happens. So now I need, that thing has protection from creatures and unblockable. So I need uh, help. I could potentially help. You think so? If you say we, but you also mean me. He's still got <laughs> Elseed of Life's bounty open. I we know. Can, make a can you still? Does it give pro from a color? Is pro Is creature? That yeah, the Elseed just a does, color yeah. of your choice. Yep. Yeah. Well, what do you want, Ben? As the control of the creature, what do I, you want to not kill what me do you on want, your ben? next turn? I kind of want to just make a deal with you, CDB. But but for for what? What's what's oh, on I, your wish list? Oh, well, I, I don't know what I want yet. Can I can I get back to me? Yeah, get back to me on that. Have your people call his people. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 totally. That yeah. that's <laughs> fine. Uh, in that case, I still think that. I still think Blake's in the best position, so let's make this difficult for him. I'm going to give Ofino Manso Mancer fear, and I'm going to attack Blake for 14. 12 Whoa. commander. Whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, no blocks. All right. We're, we're going to see if you can uh, pop off from a very difficult spot. We're going to try. All right. After that, Jeez. I am done, but I have an upkeep trigger. Untap. Upkeep. Yep. Snake. You will do that, and I will get two mana with which to foretell this card. I'm going to put oh. it in the back because I cannot cast it on my turn. All right, I will start by casting what in my mind is basically the CGB special. Yo. <laughs> I'm going to spend six mana Ooh. to cast from foretell a Delayed Blast Fireball. So what this does is it would normally do two damage to each opponent and each creature they control, but because it was cast from exile, it deals five damage to each opponent and each creature they control. So this will deal five damage to each person, each player that's not me, and each creature they control. Ouch. Uh, wow. Um, all right, so Shay, you have priority first. In response, I'll sacrifice Steve. That's a good <laughs> choice. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's a good choice. Steve's like... Let me go. <laughs> if you love me, Shay, let me go. And since you sacrificed a creature, Shay, I will make a treasure, uh -huh. a tap treasure token. Um, I have a response as well. I will tap one to sacrifice Elseed of Life's bounty to give my commander pro red. I will respond to that. Ooh. Okay. On the stack. On the stack, I'm going to spend one life to make a red mana. Because <laughs> I don't have that's enough. That's what that card does. Technically, when it says <laughs> oh creativity and marker, it does do that. Whoa. <laughs> What's it do? What's it do? What's he got? I will cast from my foretell zone in a braid, oh. which will trigger Edgin, and I will target your commander with the goad trigger mm -hmm. prior to getting pro protection. Yep. And then I will choose to destroy target artifact, and I am going to destroy. Your Phyrex Phyrexian altar. Yep. <gasps> my Ooh. my machine. My beautiful machine. You Die, monster. Your Phyrexian <laughs> scum. Oh uh, yep. That that's that works. That resolves. And so that will get goaded, and then we can let your yep. uh resolve, so it gets Ooh. pro red, and then five damage to each player and each creature they control. I will go down to twelve. Down to thirty-five. Yeah. Down to thirty-seven. And then I will move My to combat. Stuff oh, will see die. Yeah, Sorry. Easy. No. These things can't be here anymore. <laughs> also, my forest is entering tap from the secure tribe. Oh, and your dryad arbor is dead. Dryad arbor yeah. does die. Mm, okay. That is a. Yeah. Sorry, dryad arbor. Move to combat. Then take free, commander. Rude. It is kind of rude, but that's life. That was a power turn. And then I'll pass the turn. Uh, if something can keep you alive, that might do it. Wowzers. Yeah. Untap, tapping six to cast Doric. So when that enters, you're going to search for a forest? That is correct. All right, so I grabbed a gingerbread cabin. Nice, because it's a forest. Mm -hmm. It enters tapped, right? It does enter tapped. Yep. Oh, wait, From when it enters Doric. tapped, do you get a food? Um, oh, no, I don't, sadly. <laughs> oh, so sad. <laughs> Never mind. Don't the, do it. I'm the dummy. 
I'm the dummy. I was the one who was like, you could get a gingerbread yeah. cabin with your commander. So it, it's tapped. Okay, we've learned something today. We sure did. <laughs> okay, I am going to pay two for a nature's lore, because more ramp. More ramp. Ramping. Looking for a forest. Ben, any response with your Archaeomancer's map? Oh. Yes. Actually, yes? Yes. Okay. Do it. A plane. Planes. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yes. Okay, wow. Crazy. Yes. Crazy. Holy quadruple. Who would have guessed a plane? Um, okay, grab a forest. I think that's all I got. I'll pass to you, Ben. Okay. I'll untap. Shay, I'm going to be real mean. <gasps> but it's like my only play. I'm going to detainment spell your commander. What's that mean? So it can't, it's activated abilities can't be played and for a white and one I can attach this to another creature, another target creature. So you can't transform him? But it can still yeah. attack and block? Right. Yeah, it just can't yes. transform. Oh, yeah. you might have just poked the owl there. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 That's I, so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Can we edit out that high five? <laughs> I did. <laughs> didn't want it. <laughs> I feel bad for it, for Can having done it. it. <laughs> oh. Nice. That's good. I have a response, Ben. Whoa. Okay. I want to be an owl bear. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So yeah. I'm gonna pay two for a heroic intervention. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. You did poke the owl there. Yeah. Oh no. This will not be forgotten. Rough. Get mauled, Ben. <laughs> okay. I'll tap four for a hollowed haunting. I don't have nearly close to seven enchantments, but woo. -hoo. Whenever I cast one, though, I make a spirit cleric, and his power and toughness is equal to the number of spirits I control. Well, uh, Ben, you can't you can't attack Blake because right. you're good. I am good, and but I have to attack. Yeah, also true. And you would get your bonus. You could kill me, but if you don't, that would be cool. I mean, I want to see you do more cool stuff. You know, um, like coolstuffinc.com. Yeah, promo code worst. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna swing at Shay for three five double strike. Oh, sorry. Four, six, double strike. Yep, because of the exalted yep. on the spirit mantle from your commander. Mm-hmm. No blocks. I'll go down to 27. I will pass to CGB. Okay, I'll untap. I am surprised I'm still alive, but I'll take it. Let's see if I can draw a good card. It's a card. All right, I'm going to pay three life and go down to nine, and I'm gonna tap six to cast my commander, Forge Neverwinter Charlatan. And it has haste because of Hall of the Bandit Lord. Ben? Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi 14 <laughs> commander. Four, oh yeah, because of the treasures. Yep, and haste. In response, I'll tap two and sacrifice my roadside reliquary to draw two cards because I control an artifact and an enchantment. I would do the same. And I will take 14. Oof. Oh. Post combat, I'm going to sacrifice two of my treasures, and I'm going to tap this for mana. And I'm actually have to sacrifice one more treasure, so I'm down to three. I'm going to cast Ruthless Technomancer. When this enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature you control. If you do, create a number of treasures equal to that creature's power. I currently Aww. this went down to an eight. It, it's an eight power because I had to use some treasures, but I'm going to sacrifice Forge, and I'm going to make eight treasures. Going That's up to sick. 11. Okay. That's so sick. That is pretty sweet. And Forge will go back to the command zone for the second time. Welcome back, buddy. Also, I sacrificed a creature. So I also make a tapped treasure using my commander's ability. So 12 total. I can also sacrifice X artifacts to return target creature with power X or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. X can't be zero. I can do that instant speed. You implied that something bad about to happen. So I will pass the turn to you, Blake. All right. Something bad is about to happen. I'm very nervous. On my upkeep, I will, Thran Turbine will trigger. I will foretell this. Okay. I will draw for turn. So I'm going to spend seven mana to cast a card from foretell. Full I will, send, huh? I will tap this for uh, colorless mana. Okay. Good idea. <laughs> and I will cast a Mnemonic Deluge. Ah! Targeting Delayed Blast Fireball. So this is a nine mana spell. 
Exile target instant or sorcery card from a graveyard. Copy that card three times. You may cast those copies without paying their mana cost. Exile Mnemonic Deluge. You lied, you are gonna kill me. No, I don't, I think because I'm not casting them, I'm exiling this spell and then copying it. Uh -huh. I don't believe that counts. Oh, let's read the card. Oh. So, uh, delay bat blast fireball deals two damage to each opponent and each creature they control. If the spell was cast from exile, you're exiling and copying it. Yeah, I'm not. It's not being cast from exile. No. Yeah, okay, you're right, yep. you're right. Yep. So this is going to deal two damage to our faces and our creatures three, three separate times. times. Yep. So that is going to be three delay blast fireballs. So first one, pew pew pew. Second one, pew pew pew. Third one, pew pew pew. I'm going to go down to three. Oh my goodness, and my Technomancer is dead. So we take six damage total. Yep. CGB, I hate to give you the squeeze, but if you don't attack me with anything next turn or do any damage to me, I will not kill you right now. That's the plan. <laughs> ben, take three. Commander. Rude. She has one life. <laughs> Should have attacked the, the, the battle. Yeah, you <laughs> could have. appreciated that. <laughs> uh, I will then pass the turn. Ben, I think this means we're on a team. Sure. Okay. You have three foretold cards. Yep. You have 12 treasures. Yep. We're tapping nine. Nine. For the Tarrasque. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Not it. That was, a, that was a good draw. Nice. Oh God. Holy crap. Four ten. So yeah, what does it do? Uh, yeah, so the Tarrasque has haste and ward 10 as long as it was cast. And whenever the Tarrasque attacks, it fights target creature defending player controls. Uh, yeah, I think max value demands. Oh, <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> like, <laughs> uh, what's the flavor text? When it rises, nations fall. Whoa, jeez. Oh, <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to move to combat. You did say... We are a team now. We are a team. <laughs> Can we stop convincing her to attack me more? She's already attacking me. <laughs> I'm gonna send the Tarrasque yeah. to Blake on attack. It fights your bard. So nice, you top decked. I concede in response to the attack trigger. <laughs> <laughs> what was foretold? What was foretold? Um, I had foretold a Seagate Restoration, See the Truth, and a Commander's Insight. A lot of card draw. So a ton of card draw, and Ooh. then I had Reality Shift was the card I drew. Oh my, okay. Okay, well I'm out of cards, so I'm gonna use my Hero's Podium. Okay, so look at top, how much? Three, I'm paying three and tapping, gonna look at the top three. Legendary creature. Boo, no legendary creature, sadly. Oh okay, those will go to bottom. I'm out of things to do, so Ben, it is your turn. Okay, I'll untap. I'm gonna play a ghostly prison. <laughs> I will make a spirit cleric okay. for that. You know, Shay, I'm gonna help you with your heroes podium. I know we're I know I know we're a team, mm -hmm. but your hero, heroes podium just doesn't like you for some reason. So it's, it's trapping her. It's yeah. A bad so place. so I'll give it a little bit of value by making it a treasure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And I'll get another spirit for that. Okay. Because that's an enchantment. Are you empty-handed, Ben? I'm empty-handed now, and I will pass to you, CGB. Okay, I need a big draw. I will sack a treasure and pay eight mana for my commander, Forge Neverwinter Charlatan. And I've got a lot of treasures, so it's ready to fight, Shay. Go ahead. Mm, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to pay eight for Doric. Yeah, okay, so since your commander is so beefy and it has menace, I gotta hold back the Tarrasque. I think what you mean is so charming. <laughs> no, she yes. said it right. No, she said it right. <laughs> this is basically the scene in the movie where he's on the boat with all the treasure, but it's you. <laughs> Just Photoshop CGB's face over his face. They look kind of similar. We actually all look like our commanders. He said I look like Hugh Grant. As long as I get to look like this dude. Okay, I pass to you, Ben. On tap. Shay, we're on a team, right? I thought so, but then Until you, you treasure no, the no, thing. <laughs> we, we still, I thought I was helping you at the time. I didn't realize you'd have so much mana you, to do it with. with friends like this these. This is gaslighting, Shay. Don't let them gaslight you, dude. What, what do you want, Ben? I'm going to help you out. I'm going to tap <laughs> to... Turn something else into a treasure. I'm going to Heliod's Punishment. No! 
No! Dan's <laughs> command. CGB's command. Oh! So when this enters the battlefield with four task counters, my creature can't attack or block and loses all abilities. So first you have to set a creature to the ward cost. Yes. Yep, it, but it did target it. I will remake. Oh, I'll make another spirit. Yeah. Because of it. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'll just get it back. Cool. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I'm done. Go ahead, <laughs> CGB. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will untap. I will draw. Uh, all right. Three mana. Ashnod's altar. I will sacrifice yeah. Forge <laughs> for two colorless <laughs> mana. Dang it. Um, we're not going graveyard. We're going back to command zone for the third time. We have two colorless mana. I'll play this Castle Lockthwain. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I go down to eight treasures. I will recast my commander. <laughs> and I still have enough treasures to fight your Tarrasque, <laughs> but probably not enough to survive trample. Go ahead, Shay. Okay, untap. Um, so I'm gonna move to combat. I'm going to attack CGB with the Tarrasque. Ah! And I'm going to attack Ben with Doric. Oh and on attack, I'm going to pay two to use her ability to flip her into the owl bear. All right. And Trask taps to attack me. Correct. And it has an attack trigger. It sure does. Cool. So with my owl bear out, uh, that means that the Trask gets plus two, plus two, and trample. And on attack, it does fight your commander, but I'm not going to pay the ward cost, so then it doesn't fight your commander. Oh, so smart. Oh, so now I have now the trample's coming at me still. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you just don't have to pay the ward. That's right. Uh, okay, uh, Ben, do you have any blocks? Mm -hmm. No. I Take think that if I'm gonna die, you should pay the price. Forge is going to face that Tarask, <laughs> even though usually a coward till the end. <laughs> Makes so, sense. So uh, I will take eight trample, going to negative five, or is it, yeah, eight trample. And uh, I gaze upon the Trask and it destroys me, but Forge <laughs> valiantly slays it in combat. Which is yes. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to five. Welcome, welcome, CGB. Uh, another victim. Well, Ben, it's your turn. Oh, oh uh, Shay, did you mm. pay the two for the ghostly prison? I just oh, realized, yeah. yes, I, for sure. Okay, <laughs> for sure. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tap eight for my commander. Your turn, Shay. Untap. Oh yes, on my upkeep, Doric transforms back to be Doric. Gonna pay seven for Nissa Ascended okay. Animus. Oh, okay. uh, the chain oh to scale. Let's go. Oh, Jake, some. Let's go, yes. dude. Yes, thank you, so thank you. Uh, gross draw. <laughs> big green deck draws big green things. Uh, whoop, whoop. Gross. You know, they call that crater hoof on a planeswalker. <laughs> I could see why with that minus seven ability. Are you gonna show us what it does? Yes. Yes, uh, uh. so I'm gonna just go for it. I'm gonna minus seven the Nissa to make it so that Doric gets plus one, plus one for each forest I control and trample. And how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh it's exactly enough. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna pay two because I'm gonna yep. swing with Doric and use the ability. She'll become an owl bear. Um, so yes, I'm gonna pay for the ghostly prison, but I am going to sacrifice this in order to do so. So that'll Your be. Your gift did come in handy. <laughs> yeah, to there kill you go. me. Excellent, okay. So the owl bear itself is a six six, but it gets plus 10, plus 10 from Nissa. Yeah, so these are each two two, because their power and toughness is off each other. Right, all right, so Ben, how you doing? You got eight toughness. Yep, not and How enough. big is this owl there? 16? 16, 16. 16. Well, eight I'm gonna plus. try to block everything, and I'll, I think I'll be at negative three. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> ben, <sighs> you just got mauled by a giant owl there. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the Weird. <laughs> I don't know if it's attacking me with talons or claws. <laughs> Both, I guess. Both of them, yeah. <laughs> and Shay, 
You win the game. Wow. 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 Nice yeah, job. Nice. Thank you. Massacred yeah, yeah. by owl bears, yes. everybody. Oh my what gosh. What a game. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Host the show, Ben. Okay, yeah. So that's it, guys. Shay got me. We We're, all lost. No, we have one more thing to do, Ben. Remember coolstuffinc.com promo code worst. <laughs> and there's at one checkout. there's one more thing to do, Ben. We've got to we've cool got to find our cool stuff. No, come, come. A card of the game, yes, of course. Coolstuffart.com card of the game. Let's go find Let's it. Let's go find it. <laughs>